With one foot in the past and one in the future, the present is where we piss. Why do so many people act as if blind and why are we programmed to miss? The destruction of her rainforest, the decimation of her seas, the wars in far off places over oil, power and greed. A lesson in compassion with meditation in schools, a study of love is what we all need. Maybe then we can wake up before it's too late because we've been sent so many messengers but they get smothered in hate. For now is the time as tomorrow's a fiction. We live on this planet where greed's our addiction. People tend only to give when they see getting something back. The irony is, to give is the gift, focus on what we have, not what we lack. But our society's lost its connection to the power, it's created a rift. It's time for that planet-wide consciousness lift. What can I do? I'm just one person, I hear people say. But imagine the change that could come in a day. Nah, not even a day, simply in this moment, right now. Listen with your heart, not your mind, and you'll know how. Take time to hear the silence, as without it there is no sound. And it's within practice of this process that all those answers are found. For we don't need to learn more, but simply remember all we forgot, as we're born with the answers and there's not one who is not. But we're distracted by mass media and programmed to live in a constant fear. So we repeat mistake after mistake, year after year after year. The time is now for this madness to wither and die. Go on, step out of the system, give it a try. You'll see every moment in a new beauty and light. Once you start on this journey, you'll know it's just right. And I have one very quick poem as well, and this is called Free Red Fawn. It's a new age bringing a new dawn. Here we are working on freeing Red Fawn. While she sits behind bars having lost her freedom, standing to protect your future kid's kingdom. Leading the cause to save the sacred lands. Those zip ties were so tight she has nerve damaged hands. Does she sit and wallow in pity and sadness? No, she continues to highlight humanity's madness. So here we are, the three of us on this road trip, soon to share her words by her sister's lip. On the way to the Apache flatlands of Sacred Oak, where once again the government looked to screw over the native folk, allowing foreign companies to rape their land, got to get that money in the rich man's hand. When will we learn from these past mistakes? Warriors must continue to stand up for all our sakes. So Red Fawn, thank you for leading the way, using your words to keep the greedy black snake at bay.